in L.A. are showing their support for the people of Ukraine. Hundreds gathered for a demonstration yesterday in the Westwood area to demand the U.S. do more to help Ukraine. Demonstrators carrying signs of support for Ukraine and criticizing the Russian military campaign also showing up outside the office of California U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein. Now going to take you out to a crash in uh, Carson on the phone yeah. line. Yeah. Going to be on the northbound side at Avalon Boulevard. This one has the carpool and the left lane blocked. Still have a work zone going on in Sherman Oaks on the 101 northbound from Van Nuys Boulevard to Sepulveda. They have the right lane taken away there for road work until 10 a.m. And look out for some more road work going on in the Palm Valley area, 405 south between Magnolia and Brookhurst. They have all lanes closed there until 8 a.m. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. Accident, holding to the car, take her the money, car, take up. Southland weather from KFI, partly sunny today in Metro L.A. and Inland O.C., highs in the mid-70s. Sunny in the valleys and Inland Empire, highs in the mid-70s as well. Beaches, partly sunny with highs in the low 70s. We lead local live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jane Yamamoto. The Ridiculous Crime Podcast proves that true crime isn't always about mayhem and murder. Sometimes it's just silly. Take a deep dive into the absurd side of criminality with tales of stupid capers and idiotic cons that are 99% murder-free and 100% ridiculous. 16-year-old Max Wade decides to steal the yellow and black Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. The owner? <laughs> you know him as Guy Fieri. Listen to Ridiculous Crime on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Looking to cash out refi? Cape Mortgage makes it easy to put your home's equity to work. Get money for home renovations, pay off costly credit cards, all without higher monthly mortgage payments. Call 877-818-CAPE. That's 877-818-2253. Equal housing lender licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. Not licensed in all 50 states, including New York. Visit cakehome.com for licensing terms. And restrictions. Are you thinking about selling your home before you list? Call Revive. Revive will show you how to flip your own home so it sells faster for more and nets way more profit. Revive fronts the cost and guarantees the results. Go to iloverevive.com. iloverevive.com. Wealth isn't simply about money. It's more than just the numbers in your portfolio or your bank account. Wealth is all the everyday things that money enables you to do, the goals you're after, things you want to accomplish and the life you want to lead. So how do you get there? Starting the weekend of January 1st, listen to Everyday Wealth with Soledad O'Brien and Gene Chapsky, presented by Edelman Financial Engines. Each week, award-winning journalist Soledad O'Brien and personal finance expert Gene Chapsky will explore how our financial decisions shape our everyday lives. They'll be joined by Edelman Financial Engines wealth planners and other guests to demystify challenges like tax-efficient investing, retirement planning, and more. They'll share knowledge and tools to manage your finances today and build wealth for tomorrow. Join the conversation. Everyday Wealth airs each weekend and will be available on major podcast platforms. For airtime, visit everydaywealth.com. Want to boost your immunity and protect your community? Get a COVID-19 booster. They help keep you and others safe from the virus and its variants this winter and beyond. If it's been at least five months since your last dose of Pfizer or Moderna, or at least two months since your last dose of J&J, &J, it's time for a booster. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find a booster near you. Let's keep our immunity strong. Get your booster and flu shot while you're at it, too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. An iHeart radio station. More stimulating talk. you to 
be bold and brave and go to that phone with your theology question or life situation question anywhere in the U.S. of A. Dial 800-520-1534. That's 800-520-1534. Tom, welcome to the Jesus Christ Show. Good morning. Hi. I'm an, athe I'm an atheist, and I have a question on the fairness of God. Uh, I'm a Christian, and I have an answer. Okay. Okay. I'll be interested. Um, let me see. Uh, for the sake of discussion, I'll accept that Christianity is a true religion, and that Jesus, that uh, God is Christian. God is a true God. Okay. Okay, so God chooses to, for whatever reason, chooses to create the universe, the world, and man. When he creates the world, he creates a world of, that is heavily influenced by unpredictability. So, let's assume that two individuals exist, individual A and individual B. Mm -hmm. Both of them are not Christian, but they're open-minded and teachable. They, they hear that Billy Graham's crusade is coming to town, so both of them decide to go. Individual A goes, he listens to the sermon, and he accepts Jesus Christ according to John 14, 6, and Romans 10, 9, and 10. Mm -hmm. And he's saved and he's on his way to heaven. Individual B also wants to go to the crusade, but on his way, he is hit by a meteorite meteorite and his car is destroyed and he's killed or there's an earthquake or there's a flood or there's uh, a thunderstorm or whatever he's really controlled the car and he's killed for whatever reason mm -hmm. by accident due to unpredictability and unpredictability that god creates in himself he created the world now god in his own knowingness knows that if individual bees had gone to the crusade he would accept that Jesus Christ in the same manner as individual A did. But since he didn't, the Bible is very clear on what, what is required to go to heaven by the verses I just quoted. He's going to hell. Now, can you possibly tell me how there's any fairness in that at all? What, in this scenario? No, absolutely not, no. No. But that's not the biblical scenario. Uh, what you've done is you've taken certain parts of scripture and he said these are what you're going to build your argument on instead of the entirety of scripture and in that sense absolutely you're right but that's where the story ended absolutely however romans uh, romans 1 talks about the difference between general and special revelation and the difference between somebody who doesn't hear the specialness of the gospel the specificity of the gospel Yet you still know God's nature through uh, things they see and know. And that the salvation through the blood on the cross, this is uh, this problem really arises not for you, but from the way Christians display Christianity and talk about Christianity. Uh, and they focus in solely on the Christian's walk and not understanding the fact that there are people that can receive God never oh, even hearing right. the word of Jesus. So the payment is still made by me on the cross, but it's received by somebody uh, under different circumstances that, that maybe has not received the gospel. Now, there's a difference, uh, a, a major difference here, if that person driving through the Billy Graham crusade has heard the gospel, understands the gospel, knows the gospel, but has rejected it up until that point, then they're accountable for their rejection. It's not based on ignorance. There's this misnomer that Christianity is based on ignorance or knowledge. Oh, well, you're part of the in club, you know, so you get in, or you're not part of the in club, you don't know, so you don't get in. That's not it. It's about rejection. You have to know it to reject it. So there are all kinds of levels within that. Uh, for instance, somebody who has a form of mental retardation or lack of mental capacity that can't receive or know or have that knowledge, these are very things we quote, 
in John and Romans. They do not have the capacity. So that would that would be a problem. But it's not. God is not looking at technicality. God is looking at the rejection or the acceptance of the heart. The profession that you were talking about when you were reading from Romans, and it talks about uh, for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. The difference there is the being justified and believing doesn't even get into the mouth part. The mouth part is is, is not talking about just saying it. It's part. It, it's about um, uh, it, taking what is in your heart and manifesting it in what you do. Like your money is where your mouth is, right? It is taking it and living it. It's not about well, God, in my heart, I'm going to say it. I'm in. It, people reduce that, that reductionism, that informal logical fallacy of reductionism, to reduce it down to those things, misses the beauty and intensity of the gospel and the depth of the gospel. There is much more to it than that. That is a simplified focus of somebody receiving it in their heart first. It's not just an intellectual thing. And then receiving it to a point where they actualize it. Because it means nothing if you don't actualize it. Uh, you're obviously a, a learned a fella. If you look at a pencil, there's a, a reasoning process in logic. If you look at a pencil, and you say, that's a pencil. I know that that's a pencil. I know that a pencil writes. Oh. So you pick it up in your hand, you put it on to a piece of paper, the graphite, transfer to the paper, and you can write it. But if you don't pick it up, it doesn't matter what you do. It could, it could be a penguin, it could be a banana, it doesn't mean anything if you don't apply it. If you don't pick it up, that third point of logic is to apply it. If you don't apply it, it doesn't matter what it is because you're not using it. So likewise, in these verses, what it's talking about is that if you know it, you see it, you believe it, and you act upon it, then you have it. You've gone through those, those three stages of logic. Uh, and you, you've noticed it, you've accepted the knowledge of it, and you've applied that knowledge. And that's what it's talking about there. So if the person driving to the, uh, the event to become a Christian had all that opportunity and rejected it, yes, they are accountable for the, what they rejected. You're, uh, you're kind of looking at it as if they had no knowledge about anything. They lived in, in a hut. And they've been cut off from the world. They had no knowledge of it, and they didn't. And, and so they they lucked out because they got hit by a meteor or what have you. But that's that's not the reality. The reality is that that person that the going to a crusade is not information most of the time. It's confirmation. It's somebody taking that last step and applying it to their life. And saying they're going to stand up in front of people, they're going to, with their mouth, with their body, apply and say, hey, I'm going to be accountable. I'm here for a thousand people. I am going to be accountable and I'm going to walk towards that altar and say with my body and my being that this is what's in my heart. Super fine pieces, everything. That last part won't matter. But if there is rejection within their heart, they are accountable for that. Even if they were driving somewhere, because they could reject it there too. And God knows those things. The, the unknown is, is you, you looking at this, but not God. And so if you walk out in the middle of the movie, uh, yeah, uh, it's a wonderful life, it's a horrible movie. If you walk out in the middle of it, absolutely. It ends with uh, Jerry Stewart committing to itself. But if you follow it to its logical conclusion, the entirety of scripture, no, there is uh, still accountability and choice and rejection or acceptance long before that person ever gets to the program to say. I understand that. That makes sense to a certain degree, but you have to admit that all evangelists and ministers make it sound pretty simple to be safe. Yes, and it's not that it's difficult, it's that it's true. It's like love. Love is not difficult. You have to say, I am willing to be selfless for you because I love you so much. I want to dedicate my life to doing what I can for you, not just for me. 
It is simple. When you look at it, I mean, the parts are not complicated. However, the, it, you look at it as a race, and if they get to that, that deadline, then they're good, and they break through that, that toilet paper or that streamer at the end, then they're, then they're good. And this guy, you know, his tire was flat, and the handlebars fell off his bike, and so, you know, he is out of luck just because that happened, and that's not the case. It's, it's, it's not, everyone looks at God as if, if God is, is just checking off the uh, checks and balances and going, oh, wow, gosh, you got so close. That's not it. The human has the will and, and intent to change their life. Food. And the problem that humans have with it, for the most part, is that they're lying. Just, well, I'll just lie to God, or I'll, well, I pretend that I have it. That's not the way it works. God knows your heart, and He knows if you're actually rejecting Him, but saying with your mouth. That's why those two points are so important. All right, so that's that. It with your mouth and making so. it. And you can't just feel it with your heart and say, gosh, I have a liver quiver, or I went to the crusade and I really felt warm inside and I think that makes me a Christian. No, he's saying that you're going to have a combination of this of this change in your heart and a physical accountability to that change. Yeah, yeah. And you to life that change. And that's what's important. It's not about doing some specific thing in a specific way and you're getting it. It's not at all. You are listening to the Jesus Christ. To ask yourself, Here's today's smart money tip from Odin. Call 833 Odin or go to Odin.com to find out more about this amazing offer. Have you ever kept your 30 year mortgage for more than 10 years? If you're like most people, the answer is no. Then why are you overpaying for a loan you probably won't keep? Introducing the Smart Money Loan by Owner. With an interest rate of 2.375% fixed for the first 10 years, 2.819 APR. Lock in your rate for how long you'll probably keep the loan. Lower your rate and payment and save thousands in interest. Call 833-2-ODIN-TO-LOCK-IN-A-DEPO-2-7-5-PERCENT-RATE-2-8-1-9-A-DEPO-2-8-1-9-A-DEPO-2-8-1-9-A-DEPO-2-8-1-9-A-DE
So, how's 2022 going for you? To me, it's just whizzing by already. Problem is, my retirement's looming, and I needed to sort it all out before it's too late. I went to Noble Gold, and they recommended a precious metals IRA. You can hold these in gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, or a mix. Now, I won't have to worry about inflation, catching up, or running out of time. To find out how you can do this, too, you need to talk to one of Noble Gold's experts. Not a call center or a salesman, a knowledgeable and professional expert who will run through your options with you. I did, and it's such a weight off my mind. I tell you, Noble Gold delivered exceptional customer service. Also, if you're quick, this month Noble Gold are giving away a free one-tenth ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualifying plan you start. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call 877-646-5347. Checking KSI traffic, we do have a crash in the Carson area, 405 north on Avalon Boulevard, that's blocking the carpool lane. To Sherman Oaks, we have some road work down the 101 north on from Van Nuys Boulevard, there's the profit of the bright lane taken away there until 10 a.m. And look out in Ontario, 60 west on a mountain, we have a crash there blocking this two right lane. KSI in the sky, he'll get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. Sunday as I am with you every single Sunday right here, answering your questions and talking about things that truly matter in life and the afterlife. I encourage you to be brave. I encourage you to be bold. I encourage you to go to the phone with your theology question or life situation question. Anywhere in the U.S. of A, dial 800-520-1534. 800-520-1534. Dennis, welcome to the Jesus Christ Show. Good morning. Hi there. In biblical times, the Jewish people atoned for sins with animal sacrifices. Jesus, the Messiah, was rejected largely by the Jewish people. And yet today, very, very good. the ritual of animal sacrifices no longer continues with the Jewish people. Very, very, very. Why and when did this process stop? For Jews? Yes. Okay, because for Christians it doesn't play a part, obviously, because I was the last sacrifice. Correct. Um, but it, for the Jewish people, and I don't want to speak for their belief system across the board, um, really you're dealing with uh, prophecies and the destruction of the mm, very, very, very. That's primary. So at, there are those that believe uh, until the temple is... Uh, rebuilt, then um, it is unnecessary. 